Let's shake in a C. <laughs> Not much. How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Listen, I have an idea. No. But like, it's it's a pretty good idea. I want you to listen to me. No. But I think like it could it could be pretty fruitful. No. Um. Please. And oh. Okay, but like, what if I just explain it a tiny oh. bit? Um, okay, what, like, let's do this. Like, I just want to talk to you about it. No, 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 no. Um, what if I pay you? No! What if I just do, like, what if I buy you lots of stuff? Will you listen to me then? No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, just, just tell me something that indicates I can explain my idea to you. Okay, I guess so. <laughs> Do you like my new button? Yeah, it says on. Oh, <laughs> did I turn it the wrong way? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, the button. Okay, wait. For the last time, no. <laughs> did you think it was really me? Uh, yeah, I was. Oh, I thought you were going to say no, and then I was going to push the button. <laughs> did you think it was me, Robert? No. There you go. Okay, I'm sure that this has been a valuable uh, minute and a half. Mm -hmm. We've taught uh, people about the word no and the word on. Yeah, and so on that note, on that note, you know, it kind of made me think of something about how people often say no to doing things that they should actually just get over themselves and go do. You know, you, you know the core value at AC Inc. Action equals growth. Yep. Yeah. Do you know what that means? No. <laughs> oh, you didn't give me time. Well, it's, it's, I just fully believe that when we have something that we need to do and we're paralyzed, analysis leads to paralysis, perfection is the enemy of done, that we need to get over it sometimes and just do it because we're sitting there thinking about it. <laughs> nice, nice whiskey. Thanks. <laughs> Um, we're thinking about it and we're wasting time and energy thinking about it. But when you actually just take action and do it, you'll find out whether it was a good idea or not. Right. Sometimes you feel like you're not moving forward, but you actually are moving forward because you're moving forward and learning that that is not a path to go down. You know what? Um, the word no to me, um, is almost a trigger word, you know, saying something super trendy right now. I know a lot of people talk about trigger words and things like that. When somebody says no, I think, oh yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. Is that the case? Is that a challenge? Do you want to put money on it? Um, and it's, it's kind of along the same lines as what you're saying is that when somebody says no, whether it's from experience or some sort of predetermined notion or some sort of research they've done, they're basically closing off that opportunity. They're saying, that's not possible. You cannot do anything different than somebody else has done. That is a waste of your time. And I mean, with, with all responsibility and accountability in frame, I mean, you don't want to go do something irresponsible and maybe not logical, but to me, that's kind of like, you know what, I want to, I want to try to prove you wrong. I want to find the best way to go through this, you know, like, we, we were, we just sat on this awesome round table and they were talking about using social media, organic social media to drive, you know, of the bulk of their sales, you know, B2B sales, B2C sales. And I thought to myself, okay, this is really cool. Um, how could I use this? You know what? I, I don't know. I probably can't use it, but that yeah. was me saying no to myself. I'm like, no, no, no. I got to challenge this and see if I can figure yeah. out how to use it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think we need to clarify that it's in the context of, of doing things that like, yeah, it's a tough one. I want to say, because it's, it's in the context of, of doing things that are going to help your business grow. There are times when it's really important to say no to people when you're stretched beyond your limits and you've got to learn to say no to the right thing. So that's different. We're not really talking about that so much. It's more, it's more things that we know deep down we should do. Like, like we should be putting ourselves out there on social media if we want to get attention and, yep let's do it in an organic way. So if we should do that and we're saying no to it, the question is, why are we saying no? And I find that, the, well, I've, you've heard me speak about this in, in 
public speaking settings that it's often because of uh, things like, you know, fear um, of doing it wrong, or sometimes the people are just unclear about what, how to do it. So um, often people say no, for those reasons, it's not so much that they don't want to do it. They just don't like, they don't know how, or they're a little bit afraid. Yeah. Okay. So let's say I'm sitting here and I've got a bunch of time and I want to allocate this time to driving revenue to my business or, or, or whatever, bringing on more franchisees. And I go, well, look at this idea. You know, I haven't, I haven't even gone through the structure of how the idea would work. And somebody's like, no, that's not going to work. Listen, we've tried this and this and this. And I'm like, okay, this isn't me reallocating time from something that could be used for something else. This is just me brainstorming here. And then somebody's like, no, that's not going to work. And it may not work, but this almost feels like a challenge to me. Like, how dare you? Like you are now in a a mindset of scarcity instead of abundance. And you're cutting me off at the knees right away. You know, now I feel almost even more driven to say, yeah, take that no and and shove it where the sun don't shine. (laughs) Have you been drinking? No, I'm kidding. I know you're having whiskey. (laughs) But um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's so refreshing to be around people that have a can do attitude and that want to make things happen. And, And I think that for the most part, when people do say no in those situations, it's because they're overthinking things. And I'm not saying go and spend $50,000 on a billboard or something like that. We're talking about things that don't cost money. Like we're we're kind of more alluding than anything to like social media um, or, or, you know, even going networking, I guess we're talking more about business growth stuff right now, but like it's, it, it, I feel like people need to stop and think like, what is holding you back? And then what is the consequence of, of doing the thing that you're, you're being held back? Say it's putting yourself out there on social media. Okay. Wow. People might like see you. Are they going to make fun of you? Like when I do speaking um, engagements, I, I, when I used to get nervous and I probably should get nervous, but I don't really much anymore. I get excited, but I, when I, when I would get nervous, what I, would help me was to remember that Most people sitting in the audience don't have the courage to come up here and be the speaker. Actually, even with the round tables that I run, I have used to be really nervous, like, how am I going to do this? And I still get nervous sometimes certain days, depending on like, if I've got a really good topic or not. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, but I'm the one doing it. And everyone else is just glad that I'm doing it. They don't have to do it. And then I realized like, it's kind of like that whole, like, if you have to do public speaking and then you remember everybody in the audience, think of them naked. You know, like everybody's just human. Like, like I do that anyways. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. But, you know, it, it's just, um, I think really thinking of the consequences and going like, what, what's really, what bad thing is going to happen if I do this? Is it really that bad? Like if it's money spending, it's different. But if you're talking about trying something new in your business that isn't going to cost too much money and time, and it's potentially going to have good results. Yeah, I mean, there's a level of responsibility and accountability that you need to abide by. But like, this sounds super cliche because everyone always quotes. You Steve are so cliche. <laughs> everyone always quotes Steve Jobs, and he had this this quote, and maybe I'm paraphrasing, but it was something along the lines of the the people who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones that actually do. You know. So let's say you're an athlete and you're, you're doing some massive jump or, or ski, ski jump or whatever. And you're like, and everyone's like, no, you can't do that. And you're like, no, no, I will do it. I think I can do this. I believe I can do this. You have to be responsible, right? Maybe yeah. you don't have the skill set. Maybe you don't have the equipment or the gear or whatever it is, but like, just, just because of the nature of your past history and your past transgressions and all this sort of stuff, that does that mean you can't do it again? Yeah, what I, where you're going with that, that I, I think and what I like is as you look at your kind of, you look at the signs, like, is, there, is it, is, does it seem completely crazy? And you look at like, um, you know, if you, if you think about it, does it make sense? And if maybe bounce the idea off one or two other people, if, if you're not sure, typically, you know, you can get some gut feel on it. And, and I mean, Hey, again, assess the risk. If it's not that bad, then why not just yeah. go for it instead of saying no, no. Okay. Let's count this down. Okay, not no. Three, two, one, go. Go be awesome. awesome.